what's going on guys welcome back to another daily youtube video where we cover the market our trades and all the content by ea today is thursday and that normally means marking matchups maybe some random players we see or something it looks like today ea forgot to turn on the machine 7 16 pm and we have nothing we have literally nothing we have the daily login and we have the 81 times 11 which is trash is back um and then other than that there's literally nothing here no marquee matchups you have tweeted out that the content will be delayed we're expecting uh chavi 93 prime and that marquee matchups we have for now however got this the new xp and there's not too much to say about that except for it's xp and no one really cares so what we're going to look on in this video it's gonna be slightly different than a regular video it's more gonna be talking through our plans for friday because there's lots of coins we made on a friday it's very very easy if you do a few certain things okay first of all our liga goes out of packs these prices will have changed by the time you see this video and that is simply because market match of supply will randomly come and it's going to affect the market slightly all of these cards are likely going to take a decent hit after 6 p.m on friday in my opinion just as each of the previous teams bundesliga premier league and community there was a drop off after 6 p.m on all three of those teams every single time and the only fear was, it wasn't going to happen for Bundesliga because the team wouldn't be as good but the hype was there for Bundesliga and the dip occurred. Which cards performed the best in Bundesliga last week? The cards which performed the best were actually um, the elite and the cheaper cards. So Diaby did really well because there was no real affordable winger in the team. Other, even with Rafinha out, people still preferred Diaby with the skills. Sane, Lacroix, Brandt, they're all up a ton from where they were last week. So you can see the cheaper cards clearly have demand. Kobol's doing okay, Schlossbeck was doing better. If we were to look at this team, who do we think will do well? Well, the no-brainer was Molina, but um, it seems like we're going to have a Montiel SPC showdown coming soon, so maybe. I'm sure he will perform well. A card like Fakir will do well. That David Garcia will do great as well. Basically, all of the cards you see on this bottom row will perform well. The only one I'd maybe avoid is Garland because of the free Gaia, which everyone got playing five games in the cup. If I was you, I think the cards that will perform best will be Vega, Estegan, um, Molina probably will do good enough and Garcia will probably be 30k before you know it in a few days. Those are all cards to look at after 6pm. Balde could also be a good shout too as he is Barcelona and he's a new card. He's his first ever card in the FIFA and that will create some hype. Maybe Marino too depending on the price of the centre mids in League 1. The next thing to look at is the MLS cards and these cards will for sure get mudded in price just like they do every time the minor league gets mudded on the Friday where they drop a decent amount because of all the safe packs. I would stay away from these cards in general if you can and look to invest in them around Saturday night which is when Rimmerino and Talisco all uh, peaked at their bottom, sorry, all bottomed out. Talisco was looking at um, 240k and Rimmerino was very easy under 300k and you can see how high they are now. While these MLS cards might not have the same hype as those two Brazilians with skills, um, I'm sure Mukhtar can do well and Almada maybe can do well because he's still a 5 star skill at Argentinian, don't forget that. And there will be the Libertadores League coming at some point in the near future as well. I'm sure people will want to link them to that card. Not to mention we also have a showdown with those cards too. The next thing to look at is some more leaks. So I'll quickly show you the leaks before we get into the rest. And Bemba's been leaked. Freire as a right back. So be careful with those. Um, Hakimi, Appenda has also been leaked. So many cards have been leaked. It's kind of crazy at this point. That we don't even know how they're going to all fit them in. But um, now it's time to look at the main investments after 6pm. There's two routes you can go down other than those cards I've just shown you. You can go through old leagues easily, like certain cards which always dip in our good investments are cards like Ake at 170. This be a weekly fluctuation we make every week. This guy hits 150 or 160, go crazy. A route you could go down is starting to look at the Serie A cards. Because these cards are already getting invested and you can tell, and these will definitely dip in the panic tomorrow. If you see this guy at 50K when you get a Kipembe SPC, go crazy, it's gonna be the easiest money around with this guy under 250 if sentiments come or he gets panic sold in general very very easy money there if we look at the Serie A cards um, and we sort them by price some of these cards are already very high especially cards like Theo Hernandez which I've sold myself at 688 again if you see panic this will be your time to buy after 6 p.m on Friday because you will see panic this guy as well at 300k will be very good in the near future as he's five star skills and people will use him for the cup and it's obviously his new card will be well over a million coins Cards to target are cards like Tamori. Basically, the more OP the card, the better. Barella, they even play in the final. Keep a look on all these Serie A cards. If they dip after 6 pm, probably a smart move to go look into them because you can hold those for up to a week as well. 
and they should just steadily rise as these League Gun cards have been rising. That now takes me on to my second investment, which are the League Gun cards, of course. And you'll see some of these have gone to the moon. Crazy to the moon. And that is simply investors coming through and seeing there's a bad goalkeeper and stuff like that. A lot of these cards are crazy up for when we were buying them last week. He's up at 340. Neymar is up at 440. He's talking huge rises here. Bernardo Sanchez was 220k after his leak on the loading screen today with his stats. I've been starting to rise. All of these cards are very high. This guy is 1.8 mil. We're seeing some crazy, crazy rises on these cards, and this will continue into next week with the Serie A cards as it's the final league as well. People can make this kind of investment. Obviously, uh, League Gun's an easy one to invest in as everyone just invests in all the PSG cards typically, and they seem to perform the best. Obviously, you would want to be a bit more cautious with the right backs now with Traore League, but when you look at the top tier right backs like Hakimi, there's nothing to panic on here. This card will still outperform the objective with horrible links uh, massively. So I would not panic on this card. And if anything, if I could see him come down to 1.35, I would be picking up one myself. Now, show you my investments. Here they are. I've been trading some icons today. Went well. Sold a Telesco for 295. Sorry, one second. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> With me and a Calvin Phillips here we got a 165 I want to say a 160 so 179 and a mic in preparation for Santander has already laser sold so he's gone and there's a few more icons I'm trying to trade did get a few Hakimis before the leak 165 167 he's only 160 170 right now we'll see how he gets affected but I'm sure he just does really well anyway the links seem to do well here obviously all the um the real links and stuff we've already invested in they lazy sell, they lazy sell. If they don't, they don't. I'm fine with them lazy selling or with them not. The main cards I'm going to be looking at. So the plan on Friday, aka today, we to find any cards on a very low fluctuation before 6 p.m. If I see any crazy icon deals or anything crazy low, I will be buying that. Ideally, I want to keep at least 7, 8 mil into content and I'll be ready to go in on any cards on the dip. Maybe not the league on cards on the on the first dip. I'll probably be looking mostly at La Liga because last week we saw Bundesliga rebound like crazy. Not too sure uh, if I go in on Balde because Nuno Men's will probably be kind of cheap, but the cheaper ones will rebound well steadily. Cards like Lorente and Valverde. I mean, we all know Kunde has crazy demand at this point. If Kunde goes down 200k or something with the release of Kimpembe, I will 1000% be buying Kunde because you can see he's probably the best performing card of the lot here. I definitely want to keep a very close eye on after 6 pm and sell three hours later around 9 30 at the peak. Um, late night though, as I said, I will be targeting just one section of the market and that will be the PSG card and it will be League Gun. So you've typically seen all the cards used for the cup tend to do very, very well on Saturday. Buying them late night on Friday on any sort of dip will be a great investment. Some of these could just fly at 6pm though with Kimpembe coming out. I'd be aware of that. And you can manage your risk. You can either dive in then or you can go in later. I'll probably go in later for the risk free play. And at 6pm, as I said, I'm probably going to go straight in on these cards. Maybe even Marino. I have to see the centre mid in the team. But um, yeah. One thing we do already kind of know is Openda probably won't be the cheapest either. Likely there's a lack of good strikers in this team. Coming up this uh, league 1 team. So strikers from other leagues should perform well. And the main one I'm targeting is a very obvious one because he's French. Colo Mouani. Obviously there's going to be a lot of French cards in this team. So if I see any sort of dip on Colo Mouani. I will be going heavily in on him at 6pm. Simply because... People will need a striker, they'll need an affordable striker, they'll need to link their Bundesliga cards from a few weeks ago, and they'll want to link their new French cards, and there's no affordable French striker that's a team of the season other than Kola Mouani. I think that card will have a lot of demand. I think he'll perform very, very well in the next few days, and we should see him rise. But other than that, the general plan, if you want to do the risk-free play, hold no cards until 6pm. After 6pm, buy whatever you want that is on a dip, buy of 10% or more. Then sell this by 9, 9.30 p.m. UK time. And then late night, you're going to go all in on the league on specials very late night as they will all fly for the entirety of Saturday. And that's our general play every single Friday after 6 p.m. too. Could go in on some icons like these. We've started to trade icons again recently, or aka today on Thursday. And it's started to go quite well for us. It's pretty easy on the fluctuations as the market is moving up and down these days. There's fluidity, which is what you need for icons. You need fluctuations. But yeah. That's my plan for Friday. Hopefully you guys can follow that path. If you want to join my uh, free trading Discord, link in the description. And I'll post at least one tip there on Friday. And if you subscribe to my Twitch channel, you get an additional two tips. If you join my Patreon, I aim to post at least 10 tips a day when we can trade. For example, on a day like today, there's nothing to post. On Friday, there's always at least 10. Last weekend, we actually did 20. 
link in the description for the Patreon. I will guide everyone through my exact plays as I make them through the entirety of Friday and show every single card that I buy. Other than that guys, make daily YouTube videos and stream twice daily on Twitch at 2.30pm and 10pm UK time to show all my trades and answer all your questions while showing my complete structure and plan for the next few days. So yeah, make sure you follow that if you want to see the Twitch live streams and get live advice basically. Other than that guys, I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, share the video and I'll see you in a couple days actually. Incorrect. Tomorrow you'll have another video as well, but there'll be no video on Sunday. Other than that guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one tomorrow.